If you thought low-calorie sweeteners were helping you lose or maintain your weight, it's time to think again. A new report out today says artificial sweeteners may be causing obesity and even diabetes. Our medical science reporter, Kelly Crow, explains why. It's a finding that will be difficult for some people to swallow. The idea that diet sweeteners might not be as innocuous as they seem. Yes, I am surprised actually. It's important to know what we're, you know, putting into our bodies. Zero calories, zero impact. At least that's what was thought. Until researchers took a closer look at the bacteria living in the intestinal tract and found that saccharin, sucralose and aspartame were disrupting the body's good bacteria, causing blood sugar to rise in a way that it's linked to diabetes. The researchers were struck by their preliminary findings in mice. So they gave artificial sweetener to a small group of people and found a similar effect. Publishing their findings today in the journal Nature, the researchers made the bold suggestion that diet sweeteners may have directly contributed to enhancing the exact epidemic that they themselves were intended to fight. The results are quite striking and bold since they, they suggest that these artificial sweeteners that are actually recommended to treat a metabolic conditions such as uh, diabetes, in fact, they're, they're, they could uh, in fact be driving and not just helping. Other scientists say it's an intriguing relationship between the body's internal bacteria and blood sugar metabolism. When we interfere with the, the balance of those bacteria, we interfere with how we respond to sugars. So um, that's what the causal link is. The scientists admit it's preliminary research, yet they wrote that it's evidence enough for a reassessment of massive use of artificial sweetener. The researchers stopped short of advising people to avoid diet sodas and other artificially sweetened foods. They said that call has to be made by regulators, and only after much more work is done exploring this newly discovered effect that diet sweeteners seem to be having on the body. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.